we want to tell you a story. It's a story about athletes on competitive cheer teams, but not the athletes you are probably thinking of. We want to tell you a story about athletes with autism, spinal bifida, Down syndrome, athletes in wheelchairs, athletes with prosthetics, and athletes with other special needs, and remarkably, all working together as a team. We want to tell you a story that is filled with courage, achievement, laughter, faith, and hope. The only tears you see here will be tears of joy. Join us as we meet with five cheer teams with special needs. The Super Cats, Blast, Texas Cuties, Inspire, and the Special Stars. We will see them prepare and in future episodes watch them compete. This is Included Special Needs Cheer Teams. My name is Brandy Noble Albaugh and I'm here with Billy Smith with Spirit Celebration and Michael Hatcher from Feed, Cheer and Dance. And we're in partnership with Two Talents Video and we are proud to be here in Plano, Texas with Cheer Athletic Supercats. <laughs> So what's your name? My name is Stephanie Miguel. And how long have you been on Cheer Athletic Super Cats? I've been at seven. You've been on this for seven years? Yeah, seven years. Tell, tell us what the hardest part is. What the hardest part is. Well, I, my hardest part is um, I tried to do my car wheels like hard, but after working on it, and mostly um, back bends. Mostly back bends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor. How long have you been on Cheer Athletic Super Cats? I just got here. You just got here. What made you want to? What made you want to join the team? Well, I really like cheerleading. Being able to come in here, I was a gymnast for 10 years, and being able to come in here and see that the work ethic here is just as hard as it is um, in any other sport is just incredible. And these kids aren't doing level five and six skills, but they're doing really difficult things um, with their abilities. And it's just incredible to see what they can do with a little bit of hard work and teamwork. Tell us what your definition of an athlete is. Has it changed from working with the Super Cats and being on the world famous Panthers? Yes, um, I think an athlete is just someone who has a passion for the sport that they do and they give 110% every time they do it. All the different kids, they all have a lot of different abilities and different things that they can do, so it's important that we get each one and have something that they can do and put it in our routine to make every single different person shine. So, so Lindsay, can I talk to you for a minute? Yes. Yeah. So, are you enjoying practice so far? Yes. So, this is your very first practice. What's your favorite thing so far? My favorite thing is do um oh um some cartwheels. Some cartwheels. Well, he said you had a 10.0 cartwheel, so that's awesome. We're gonna try really, really simple. Just stay on the okay? You ready? On one, jump up to the top. Five, six, seven, eight, six. One, up, three. There you go. Good. Can you stand up nice and tall? Put your leg up. There you go. You can put your arm on her shoulder too, right here, if you want. Good. 
<laughs> What's the favorite part of the routine? Cartwheel. Cartwheel. <laughs> you do a great cartwheel. What's your name? Kenna. Kenna, you're so sweet. I love your spirit. Yeah. What? Oh, what's your name? I'm scared. I'm loud. All right, super counts really loud on three. One, two, three. We're here at Texas Cheer All-Stars in Carrollton. We're with the owner, Angela Patton. You've been credited and known for starting special needs in the cheer industry. So tell us a little bit about that, how you came up with the idea to start a special needs cheer team and a little background on how this all originated. Actually, I have been in education um, for 21 years. I have a bachelor's in elementary education um, with an emphasis in special education. My master's is in um, um, EBD, which is emotional and behavior disorders. And I went on to get my PhD in special ed leadership and um, then another master's in educational administration. I started a, a cheer program for my own two girls and um, decided at that time um, to start a special needs team. And we started with one girl on the team nine years ago and we're up to 14 girls. Um, I wanted to provide kids with special needs an opportunity for extracurricular activities uh, because they often don't have those opportunities um, to get out and to be a part of an organization. So we have um, nine typically developing teams in the gym and one special needs team. Um, so they're really um, a, a large part of the organization and um, they're they're just like any other kid in the gym. I see the potential in every child so to me the every single child that walks in whether they have a disability or not I see their potential and I push them to their maximum potential no matter what their disability is um, whether they they are in a wheelchair whether they have a cognitive disability I push them to their maximus. All my kids are athletes and all of them can achieve and, and do well. Tell me what your name is. Devin Anderson. I like doing cartwheels a lot and tombo a lot. And I like doing this a lot. So what's your name? Maylee. 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 So how long have you been on this team? Um, when I met my best friend, Brooklyn. So what is your favorite part of your routine? I get to be on this team for a long, long, long time and I love all my coaches, my friends. My name's Tori. Tori, how long have you been helping out with the Texas Cuties? Um, for nine years now. Okay, so how has this changed your life personally, being a part of this, helping them, has it changed you personally? Um, it's made me realize that even if you do have a disability, nothing should stop you. You should, no matter what, go out there and do what you love doing and what makes you happy. So what's your name? JC. JC, so how long have you been helping out with a special needs team? About three years. So how has this affected you personally to be a coach for this team? Um, when Angela uh, offered to let me coach, it um, after the first year, it made me realize I wanted to be a special ed teacher. So, yeah. One, two, three. three. Take it, yeah.
I know that I can do it even though I have other things going on. And so they've seen a bigger impact in me and my time that I've put into what I love. We are the best dancers out there because we put on hard work and we are the best out there and we, we, we did really awesome. And we are to be sure we always, always stick together. We always stick together. That's wonderful. This is Logan. Yeah. We're a champion cheer and we're about to join their dance party. We're going to stand out. We're going to spread out. If you want a partner, get a partner. And let's shake our hearts. Thank you. Pia. We're going to rock and roll, baby. You're going to rock and roll. Oh, yes, you are. So we absolutely, we had five kids the first year and every competition, I was just telling somebody I cried at every competition that they performed at because it was just so emotional to watch them go out there and be so happy. Um, and that's what changed me as a person was just um, watching them be so happy and knowing that this sport could make somebody that happy and me too that happy. Warming everything up. Remember, this is the front. This is the front. Line it up. All right. Hey guys, remember when we're in our spot and we're ready to go, what do you do? What do we do? Thumbs up. Act. Good job. for me is a little bit different. Athlete for me is somebody who is um, interested in doing the work and enjoying the work is more than anything. Enjoying the work is what it needs to be. Everybody needs to understand that you need to enjoy it and not just do it. Enjoy it and have fun with it. And we've seen them develop like um, Rachel for instance, she's she has a job. Like she works at Hallmark and she's doing amazing. Like, oh, that's I, they're just like you know, normal people. Let me tell you, Colby, uh, for instance, when he was born, the people wanted to put him in a home and told the parents he would never speak. Never speak. Colby's 28 years old and he is a keynote speaker at a police, you know, the, the million dollar police thing that they have in Dallas every year. He speaks everywhere. He goes everywhere. He's been to the Competition is more about, you know, teamwork and impacting other people's lives and it's less about you know getting that gold it's more about the feelings and like you learn about in life and that's what I've learned from this team and I hope that other teams will learn that as well My name is Brandy Noble Allball. We're here in McKinney, Texas with Pro Spirit Special Stars. Hi, my name is Billy Smith and I'm with Spirit Celebration. So let's hear it for Pro Spirit Special Stars. Yeah. Hi. 
What's your name? Natalie. Natalie, how long have you been on Pro Spirit Special Stars? For five years. Five years. So what is your favorite thing about being on this team? Going to competitions and getting to see other special needs teams from around the world. What's your name? Kate. So tell me, what what is your favorite thing about being on this team? I like Coach Ray. <laughs> Coach Ray is so sweet. She is love. She is my mommy. She is my mommy. She is dad. She love you guys. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. <laughs> You know, just teaching them the sport of cheerleading is so rewarding every day. I just, I love doing it. And I know that they want to please us. That's, we hear it all the time, that they love their coaches, they love pleasing us, and they love doing this sport. So when they have, you know, gotten that cartwheel or learned how to dismount that prep, it's just exciting to know that I'm, I'm helping them learn. And there, I walk in the gym every Monday and I hear my name screamed across the gym and I think that's why I do this. We have kids from that have autism to people with prosthetics to Down syndrome, and they all kind of work in different ways. And it kind of amazed me that they all can work together with the different kind of special ways that they are, and um, how much they can put towards teamwork and get through their routine together with all these different things that they have. We've got helpers that are here with Pro Spirit Special Stars at every practice. I would like for you to describe this team in one word. Um, I would say heartwarming because they always come in with a positive attitude and they're ready to do anything you ask them to do. And it's just, they have such amazing lives that they can come in and do this every week. Ready, one, two, three, go! My name is Brandy Noble Alba. I'm here at Excite Gym in Highland Village, Texas. I'm with the owner of Excite, Julie Hutchins, and one of the co-owners of Feed, Cheer, and Dance, Michael Hatcher. Stephanie, tell me what is what is it? How do you feel about being on this on Excite Inspire? I really, really love it. It's really, really great. This is my fourth year as a cheerleader, and it's the best thing I've ever done. So, what could you tell me about your Inspire coaches? They have helped me in so many ways to let me know that I'm not alone and that I, I can do it and that I will be, that I'm good no matter what I do.
Working with all these athletes has definitely opened my eyes to just experience what you're doing, you know, and really appreciate everything. And as much as we teach the athletes, they definitely teach us, and we get just as much out of it as they do. So. Honestly, it's one of the greatest things that will ever happen to you. But <laughs> and I think that it's beneficial to not only the athletes, but to the helpers, to the coaches, to the parents, and to everybody in the gym. And I just think it brings a really good, positive energy to everybody in the gym. This is a an experience that you can't get in any other way. Like you, you have a passion for what you do and kids and everything like that, but working with the athletes on this team makes you a completely different and better person. So tell us, how long have you had your special needs program? We were able to start it four years ago. It started kind of small and a lot more focused just on the athletes and their needs. Very quickly the second year, we got an all-star coach who started being the actual cheer coach for us. And that made a huge difference because all of a sudden, it was really cheerleading. These kids are not different. They are friends now. They're athletes. They wear the same company shirt. We are all one. And I think that's the cool thing because they learn to embrace that and they learn that this is my this is my Ohana. They are part of this company as much as a level five, four, three, two, one, whatever team we have.